never ever detangle your hair wet only detangle your hair with oil and I recommend doing it with a serum more than an oil because a serum has a smaller molecular weight than an oil does and if you're going to follow up and do a silk press right after you're going to make your job extremely hard packing the hair full of oil before you give yourself a weightless style the client here in my videos mother dropped her off at her hair appointment like this and today we are going to get really 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 deep there are three bonds that hold your hair together and when one of those bonds is broken your hair is not at its weakest at its weakest your hair is not at its strongest state right because the hydrogen bond is broken by water so if the hydrogen bond is broken then your structure is not intact so today we're going to talk about how habits that were started at a very 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 young age lead to hair shaft disorders follicle disorders and so many other things so get your notebooks out Now, my client here, her mother left her um, with her hair like this. Now, before we get started, I need you guys to understand there's so many people that are going to be like, why wouldn't you wet it and use conditioner? Like I just explained, your hair is weakest when it's wet. So if you look at my comb, it took me a very long time, but there is not globs and globs and globs of hair in my comb. The only hair that is coming out is the hair that needed to come out because her hair hasn't been combed in a while. Now I've went ahead and added, um, added, did a shampoo with Olaplex number four and Olaplex number five. When I was doing her hair, I gave her mother a call and let her mother know what was going on. And now the leave-in conditioner that I'm using, I no longer sell, but I do recommend Kimra. There is a difference between detangling the hair and combing the hair. Most people get confused when I say detangle. Detangle means to detangle, to remove knots and tangles. Right now, I'm combing the product through her hair. She has no more knots, no more tangles. So I'm combing. There's a difference between combing and detangling. But you guys I know a lot of people are not gonna want to hear this but the way that her hair was at the beginning of this video should never happen your hair should never get matted and tangled like that if you have proper patterns and proper routines that allow you to set the bonds in your hair then your hair never gets matted and tangled again this is the leave-in conditioner that i do recommend so a lot of women are not really going to want to hear this but i have so many comments that i'll get this like hey i'm 4c or i'm 4b and my hair is so hard to comb it's so painful to comb when it's matted I have to use water because it's so matted and I say to you my love why do you allow your hair to become that matted and tangled in the first place for example there your hair is a fiber that grows out of your hair's follicle it is a piece of your body the same way your teeth grow out of your gums right so I have a question why is it that we believe that we can have healthy hair by just letting it sit on our head and not having a set pattern or a set routine we think we can do that but we understand that if we don't brush our teeth even though God made them to look like they look when we wake up God makes our breath to stink when we get up we understand that if we don't brush our teeth we'll get different gum diseases different uh, bacteria infections in our mouth our teeth well the plaque is actually bacteria so we'll get so much plaque on our teeth that our teeth will turn colors we understand all of these things but it's so crazy to me that we completely separate our hair and our follicle from that and I know that these things that I'm saying now are really, really hard for a lot of people to hear. And people are like, why are you attacking? I'm not attacking anything. Listen, I have been a licensed cosmetologist for over a decade. And way before Team Natural started as a licensed cosmetologist, I had to take it on the chin when in in the hair salon, I'm paying $360 a week to do hair. And every time I turn on social media, all I see is that everything that I do is wrong. The blow 
dryers wrong, the flat irons wrong, the combs, every comb and every brush that I use is wrong. All of the science about the hair growth cycle, about the energy phase, the canogen phase, the telogen phase, everything I learned is wrong. And what you're really supposed to do is that. Listen, baby, I took it on a chin for for well over 12 years, but the tables are turning in 2024 and in 2024 science is going to take front and center. Why? Because for 12 years, everybody did their thing and look at where we are today in this video. I'm going to show you guys generational patterns and how I'm experiencing this with her hair and then this with another client in the same day you guys when we're talking about black women's hair not growing it's not that our hair won't grow our hair grows but our habits and our patterns cause us not to be able to hold on to the length we can't retain length that is the issue and so when you think about it yes braids are nice and all of the protective styles are nice but a protective style is supposed to have a scenario that is placed into right like if there if if in a month I would tell my clients okay in a year I need you to pick three styles for the year and let's rotate these three we're not doing these type of crochet braids this month and this type of crochet braids this month and then box braids this month and then a weave this month and then twisties this month that is how you break off your hair that's not just because our hair is curly doesn't mean that we can do 50 million different styles that's not true especially when you are covering your follicle so much that the sebum that is is required for your hair to be strong can't come out so if the sebum that's required for your hair to remain strong can't come out because you're greasing the scalp and you know you feel that you need to do that that's fine but the petroleum stops any type of color or any type of chemical for from touching the skin it does and blue magic and different greases are made with petroleum I can one time in the shop I ran out of petroleum and for whatever reason one of the stylists in my shop had blue magic so I used her blue magic to base my client's scalp because the blue magic works the same exact way that petroleum does because it's scented colored petroleum so when you do that right when when we think about all of the different things that we're using mineral oil and petroleum come from the same thing so when we're talking about hot six oil and hot oil treatments at a very young age we're blocking the follicle so we're naturally slowing down the hair growth cycle this is the bacteria that lives on the scalp right and on the scalp there is bacteria and yeast and their favorite food is oil their favorite food is sebum the sebum that is coming out of your scalp so is heaven the reason that your scalp feels so much better once you put oil on it is because before you had the oil the bacteria that lives on your scalp was eating away at your skin and trying to get into the follicle to get the sebum but when you put oil there it was like oh this is good and guess what that that bacteria is a colonizing bacteria so every time you put more oil on it you you aid that bacteria in growing look at the video in the description box below I give you scientific proof you can look it up yourself you do not have to take my word for it so if we are talking about the healthiest way to style your hair set the bonds first you don't have to use a blow dryer if you don't want to you can do a roller set you can do a flexi rod set you can do a perm rod set but you need to stretch out your hair you guys and this is the thing we are always in this place or like oh god made our hair curly we're supposed to wear our hair curly okay if you just like the way that your hair it curls naturally all you have to do is get a perm rod or a flexi rod or a roller that mimics your hair's natural curl pattern and give yourself a flexi rod set so on monday you or whatever day of the week is you're going to be your wash day you wash your hair you give yourself a flexi rod set a perm rod set or whatever it is that you're going to do and then you 
style your hair in its curly state however you want that to be and then the next question I get is like okay well what if I just flat twist it and sit under the dryer or a wash and go a wash and go works no it doesn't and I'll explain why if you put your hair in a wash and go, right? Even if you dry it, let's say it's dry 100%. At the end of the day, can you pick up a comb and run a comb through it with ease? Hmm. Or I have another question. If you do a twist out, right? And you just sit under the dryer, just twist your hair, put a bunch of products in it, sit on the dryer, your hair super dry. Can you get up and run a comb through it? Hmm. My next question, if you do a roller set or a flexi rod set that is the exact curl pattern of your natural hair, right? And then you get done, it, it dries and you, you get everything together. Can you pick up a comb and run a comb through it? Absolutely, you can. Yes, you can. Is it a rat tail comb? No, you don't run a rat. A rat tail comb is used for detailing, right? So if I'm making parts, if I'm doing a silk press and I need to separate each individual strand, that's what a rat tail comb is for. Now I'm talking about a regular styling comb will be able to go through that. But a regular styling comb cannot go through your twist out. It cannot, not without breaking your hair, not without you having to use tension, but if you do the, did a roller set, it will go through it with ease. You guys, you leaving your hair wet for three days is not healthier than using a blow dryer for 15 minutes. It's not. You leaving your hair wet for three days is not healthier than you sitting under a dryer for a couple of hours until your hair dries once every two weeks. It's not. And the thing is, because we don't take the time to set the patterns and set the habits, what ends up happening is we end up causing so much breakage and so much mechanical damage. Because for you to do that twist out on a regular basis, you have to comb through your hair a lot. And then most people who do two strand twists aren't even combing their hair. Because you don't believe in combs, you only do, you only do fingal detangling. And for that reason, you have a masterful amount of single strand knots. These are things that I really want everybody to think about. We need to have different patterns and different routines that cause us to be able to comb our hair. If you have a style that makes it able for you not to comb your hair, you shouldn't wear it. If by the end of the week, your patterns and your routines cause you not to be able to comb through your hair, you need to change your patterns and routines. That is not normal. Just because your hair grows out of your hair curly does not give you the pass to just leave your hair sitting on top of your head and I know that it may seem like I'm being harsh but by the end of this video you'll see exactly what I mean because you'll get a visual representation of what my days used to look like from the time I walked in to the time I went home so now at this point I'm straightening her hair and I'm sure you guys have seen on the screen already I am using um Kimra's heat protectant um, even back then when I had my own product line, if I was out of stock, Kimber is what I used always. So that is why that's the product that I recommended to you. Kimber also has a serum that you can use to detangle, but, um, I noticed that some people were saying that it wasn't available on Amazon. So that's like the next best thing. But as you can see, she has a lot of shine in her hair. The only thing that I am putting in her hair right now is heat protected. There's no oil whatsoever in her hair yet. Um, so thus far, all we've done is detangle her hair and with oil with a serum. And then after I detangled her with the serum, you watch me clarify. Well, you didn't watch me, but I clarified her scalp and then I gave her a shampoo. I shampooed her hair and conditioned it. Um, we did not have time for a deep conditioning treatment today. No, we did not. A deep conditioning treatment would have took an extra 30 minutes and I spent about 35 minutes 
excuse me uh detangling her hair i only showed you guys a very very small portion but it took me about 35 minutes to detangle her hair and it was rather difficult because um she did not hold a good head at all so yeah it was it was great but it, it was because and this is again not saying anything bad about her mom me and her mom already had this conversation and this video is years old right me and her mother had the same the same conversation because her mother's habits were like that as well her mother would go months without combing her hair months without washing her hair um i have a video that i'll be posting again really soon in the weave take down series of her mother's weave i think her mom had a weave in her head for well over four months for sure and it was to the point where i was like this is not safe like i cannot keep refreshing this right so these are things and habits and patterns that i want us all to really really look at like let's really look in the mirror we are not victims right we are not cursed with hair that is just so bad no that's not true but the the thing is we don't have patterns and we don't have routines that we want to stick to i remember i had a consultation with a client one time and she was just like but it's just different for us because we're black and it just takes us it, we just have to do so much more to our hair all they have to do is wet their hair and walk outside you guys are wrong that's not true women from other races are not just wetting their hair and walking outside nobody does does wash and goes but black women diffusers have been out for a very long time and women who wear their hair naturally curly that are not black use diffusers and they are able to use diffusers because their hair is not as curly as ours even with using a diffuser that can still pick up a comb and comb their hair without the without the comb or the brush getting stuck so it's different it's not the same thing right but every i've been living in vegas for a really long time and every friend that i've ever had that wasn't of my race comb their hair on a regular basis and even when they were wearing their hair curly they were still combing their hair they were not just walking outside with wet hair and when they did wash their hair they would wash it blow dry it, flat iron it in the same day sometimes they would do it right before we went to school so these are things that I really want you to think about. We like nobody else has it easy. Other women are giving themselves a full hair appointment every morning. That's why they really don't mind going to a hair salon, getting color and a trim and walking out with wet hair because they know in the morning they're going to wash it and blow dry it and flat iron it anyway. And so this is after decades of being in the hair industry and I was one of the only black women in the building. I was surrounded by women of other races, surrounded by women with their hair to their butts and the patterns were different. And I also have a lot of clients with hair to their butts. Their videos are coming soon because I'm going to show you guys both sides of the spectrum, right? But if we're going to get anywhere, we have to be able to have accountability. We have to be able to look in the mirror, right? And we have to be able to lose offense. And I'm sorry, anybody, how can you say this about easy the same way that for the last 12 years, um, cosmetologists have been getting ran out of the hair salon being taught that that they told that the things that they went to school to learn for two years means nothing. And team natural matters the same way they had to eat it. Y'all got to eat it, too. But this time we're eating it with facts. We're going to sit at the table with some notebooks this time. OK, but so lose offense. And I got to be honest. I remember this day. Oh, God, I was so stressed out this day. I was so stressed out because this was the very beginning of my day and after her I I vividly remember having at least like seven more people after this right but when I was doing hair this was my life day in and day out so again I had to work things out because her calm out took me about 30 minutes and I'm halfway done with your appointment in 30 minutes so um I'm at this point I'm getting my next client in the chair and I need to get her detangled because this is how most black women do their hair on a regular basis I love you guys but this is the client that was sitting right 
right there on the side and this one is a is a, a older woman this is a grown woman with children and most of my clients that would come sit in my chair would come with their hair like that and then I would have to start them all over from scratch give them a brand new regimen because the hair would just be in a ponytail or just in a clip under their head until they saw me or they would have a wig on top of it or they would put it in a ponytail or they would do wash and goes right they would do wash and goes and then when the wash and go got old they would just put their hair in a ponytail and then just wait until they come to see me and we're back to doing little baby's hair now this portion was rather difficult her haircut did not come out uh perfect because the way that you hold your head is extremely important when you cut in cutting hair and yeah so um as I was doing this uh, again I have been doing her mother's hair for years me and her mother had already talked I think I said this before but she had a younger sister and they just didn't have patterns and routines for the hair so her younger sister was like leave me alone like no she was like crying and stuff in the chair and I was I cannot do children I did not do children's hair like it just wasn't my thing okay if you do do children's hair if you do do children's hair like I take my hat off to you hello how are you you are a blessing to America to the world not just the city the world Greg Got people get robbed by Santa Claus. They need security in the world, girl. You are the security in the world if you do kids' hair because I cannot. But I um, went ahead and gave her a trim and she had the same exact lines of demarcation, the same exact breakage and everything. So I talked to her mom on the phone. Her mom was like, I know, I'm sorry, you like do whatever you need to do. So went ahead and we ended up deciding on doing like sort of kind of like a a line bob. Most of the time, whenever I had clients that had severe damage, what I would do is give them like a bob with layers. And the reason that I would do a bob with layers is because by doing a bob or a not a bob yeah like a bob kind of like a line I got to take most of the breakage out off in the back which was where most of the damage was but then got to keep most of the length on the sides where most of the healthy hair still was and then when I created layers and I didn't do really really short drastic layers but when I create layers what I end up being able to do is getting the majority of the damage off off the top right um throughout throughout the rest of the hair at the top because just cutting at the base level is not enough all you're cutting is the ends and I needed to be able to get all of her hair so um this is how we ended up doing everything and her hair came out really good um the reason that they were not clients that I blocked is because when once I fixed it it was fixed right but this was the this was our breaking point for like for her mom and for her where it was like okay we have to do something different like things have to be different and I think the main different thing was this was the last time I did uh her hair this this was actually I just lied because this room that I'm in right now this was the last studio that I was in when I retired so me and her have been going through this for years so I just lied and mm -hmm, I just had a flashback I'm sorry mm -hmm. but her haircut came out really good as you can see her hair has natural luster when you guys are watching videos of silk presses and stuff it is not products licensed cosmetologists have never or licensed hairstylists have never given or barbers anybody in the field we've never given credit to product lines never that was not us professional cosmetologists the, the ones that stay true we've never given the credit to products why would I do that I, I'm still I was still playing off student loans why would I give the credit to a product line no it's me it's me understanding the science of your hair it's me understanding what to do to your hair to pull the sebum down that is me and then I give my clients the the information that I learned so they can take it home with them right 
It's not if if you go in for open heart surgery and or or a heart transplant. It wasn't the scalpel that gave you the heart transplant. It was that dope ass surgeon. That's who did it. It wasn't the scalpel. So it's the same thing for us. It it's not the the products that are doing it. No, it's the skill level. It's the understanding of the human body. It is the understanding of the natural hair growth cycle. It is the understanding of your your skin cell turnover cycle on your scalp. It is the understanding of the sebum that is on your scalp that is not an oil, that it is a wax that needs to be pulled down with a comb or a brush. Your four fingers cannot pull down sebum over 400,000 strands. The average person has 100,000 follicles and one to four strands in each follicle. Do the math. That's 100,000 to 400,000 strands. And to think that your four fingertips and your two little thumbs can pull down a waxy substance down 100,000 to 400,000 strands is complete insanity. Again, thus far, she does not have any oil on her hair. The natural shine that you are seeing coming from her hair is how the human hair shaft looks naturally, naturally when the cuticle is not blocked and layered with products. This is why you have to keep putting the products on because the products are blocking the natural sebum from being able to touch your hair. God already made a oil come in directly from your body that has to lip, that has something that is going to retain moisture that will keep you from losing moisture. You don't need coconut oil. What? All you need is the sebum from your hair to re- retain moisture that your hair is going to absorb from the environment. So for this video i hope you guys really really take from this that the patterns that we follow are the things that lead to our breakage and you need to set up new patterns you just leaving your hair on top of your head is not okay and if you have pain detangling your hair if your hair is matted and tangled your patterns need to change that's not normal it's not okay the same way that your teeth need to be brushed so you can remove the bacteria so plaque doesn't build up so your teeth don't turn yellow you need the same type of pattern that you have for oh my god look at how she holding her head lord the same pattern that you have for brushing your teeth the 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 time and attention that you put into that you don't take no shortcuts brushing your teeth you don't got no hacks you brush them butters baby and i need you to do the same exact thing with your hair yeah i really hope that this video made sense i tried not to completely look at the video as i was talking through but you know she 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 did the best that she could and after this her mom had a good pattern and a good routine so she wouldn't be in this situation again i don't know what happened after this but all i know is i had a whole bunch more clients to get to after this so if you feel sympathy for what you just watched then leave a comment and like the video mm-hmm